I will flip this old hydraulic bottle jack to make homemade shop press. Hi home crafters. We start by emptying the oil from the reservoir. I painted the ground with oil. Now I will open the bottle jack and if you are opening this small one there is a lot of tools to do that. But I will use this big 20 tons hydraulic jack that I bought used for a good price. And I don't have any right tools big enough to open it. So I will do this. And if you have these vices, you can use them. Be gentle with the hammer. This oil seal is stuck, so remove it carefully. The person I bought the bottle jack from used burned out car oil. <laughs> Damn him. I hope the oil seals are still in good shape because there is small steel particles inside the oil. This is big piston. It has a large diameter. And this small piston for pumping oil to the big one. The bigger the difference between the diameters, the greater the lifting or in our case the pressing power will be. I tried to open this part but I couldn't clamp it well to do that. And because I need to drill the jack to fix it to the press body, I will do that now to fix it to the table. The hammer is the greatest tool ever. Too much dirt, I need to clean it well. I tried to open the cylinder and I used a lot of tricks except fire, but I couldn't open it. All what I did is scratching the outside of the cylinder. Thank god it is not important for the hydraulic jack to work. And I was going to remove it to be able to drill strikes, but instead I will do this. Please home crafters, don't forget to subscribe. I'm cleaning everything using diesel fuel because it is cheap and it is safer than gasoline, that is carcinogenic, so beware of that. I wiped the parts and oiled them to prevent rust and make it easy to assemble them. I will use this 9mm copper tube to siphon oil from the bottom. And you can use another tube as same as the diameter of the small hole. So you can do this conversion without drilling.
This is for filling the oil. And this oil ring to seal the oil inside. I will add this so there will not be a pressure build up inside the reservoir. Now this oil seal will not prevent oil from leaking because it is too hard. So I will use this car engine sealer to close the bottle jack. I will do this to make it easier to fill the bottle jack with oil. And it is better to use hydraulic lift oil or ATF oil to fill it because there is some compressible oils you shouldn't use here. Now I have to remove air from the system, because if there is some left in the cylinder, the jack will become like spring. I tried to remove it the normal way, but I couldn't. I think because I used a big tube, so I forced the oil manually. And after emptying the cylinder, I can now remove the rest of air the normal way. I open the hydraulic jack and I pump fast. And then I close it and pop until it's fully extended. Then I empty it. This should be enough, but if you want to be sure, do it again.